The holidays are upon us. This is the season we've been waiting for all year. I'm Kim Kirshner, and this is segment 15 of our weekly product spotlight training program. Just around the corner is Thanksgiving, and after that is the busiest shopping weekend of the year. Let's start right now to set a record-breaking retail week. Hi. Let's talk today about two products that are two of my favorites, the Sharper Image Key Organizer and our new face maintenance system. You know, the key organizer is a product we've been talking about for a number of months, and you keep hearing about it, I think because I had so much to do with developing it, and I'm really enthusiastic about selling more of them. I was so pleased to go in the new Chicago water tower store a few days ago, and a, a salesman there named Tom Dow told me that he sold 16 sharper image key organizers in one day. Not in a week, but in a day, 16. I couldn't believe it. I asked Tom how he did that, and he said he pulled out a regular key ring, he pulled out the Sharper Image Key Organizer, and he just showed the customer what a different system it was and how effective it was at selling key organizers. And I thought, gosh, somehow I've got to give that message to the whole organization to make you realize this guy is selling, on a good day, 16 of these, and if we all could just sell five or ten a day, we would have a phenomenal business in key organizers. To make it easier, we've taken the steps to meet your request. And that is that we now have the blank key organizer as well as the monogram with several different script styles. Especially for Valentine's Day, we could think about getting sort of psyched up to mention to the customers they had to order those you know, two or three weeks ahead of time, which is right after Christmas. But here's something exciting. What about we have a contest for the key organizer with a good prize at the end? The contest would begin, let's say that the, the day you hear this tape, which um, let's pick November um, 20th for the starting date. How about that? Right before Thanksgiving, a little bit after you hear this. November 20th. Between November 20th and December 31st, we keep track of all the key organizers that each of you sell. Then we provide a $500 gift certificate, a $500 gift certificate for each of five salespeople, one in each level of our stores that sells the most key organizers. As you know, we've got our stores organized into the top selling stores, the next top selling stores through five levels. So we'll provide five gift certificates, one for each level to the top selling person in each of the level stores in terms of total number of units. Can include corporate sales, whatever. And if we can't tell at the end of December 31st who the top person is in that level, if they're real close, we'll have a 30-day playoff between the top two people. So this will give you a real incentive, a chance to pick up a $500 gift certificate by simply selling the most, and it's not that hard to do. You just got to mention it to everybody that comes in and say, look, we have a great key organizer at the Sharper Image. Let me show it to you. The other product I'm really enthusiastic about is the face maintenance system. This project took up about nine months of my time because I personally was so involved with the development of it. And as you know, it consists of three products. The shaving gel, the aftershave splash, and the soothing lotion. Each of them has a strong hook, and it's so easy to explain. You've heard it before. Let me just say it again if you don't mind. The aftershave splash is the only alcohol-based aftershave splash that also has a moisturizer built in. Every other aftershave splash is alcohol. It dries your skin. This gives you that same refreshing feeling, and at the same time, it's got that little bit of slipperiness that's a moisturizer, and the customer can easily feel that. And the fragrance is terrific. The gel. Terrific product. I, I think the shaving gel is so terrific. Silicone formula, ultra slippery shaving gel. It's so good, you could even use it on a dry beard. If you wake up on Saturday morning and don't want to take a shower, just put it on your dry beard, wait 30 seconds, and shave. It's that slippery. And if you use it in the shower, see, you'll notice that it leaves your skin feeling moisturized when you're finished, which is really unusual. And the reason for that is that most shaving foams are basically detergent and propellant to get it out of the can. 
So they're basically just burning your skin with propellant and a little bit of detergent. It's not very good for your skin. This leaves your skin feeling moisturized. And then the soothing lotion has an interesting hook as well. Not only is it a good soothing lotion, but it has suspended talc, talcum powder in it. The talcum powder absorbs oil. So you get all the soothing qualities of a nice lotion, and at the same time, your face doesn't look shiny. In fact, on the contrary, it takes away shine from your face. It's a great product. Let's do the same thing with this face maintenance system. Let's provide a prize at the end of December 31. We're already keeping track of a spiff on this product. We got a spiff on the product. The person who earns the most spiff dollars will collect a $500 gift certificate. And again, at each of five levels of our store, so that every store has a chance to compete, whether you're New York City or whether you're in one of our smaller stores, you'll have an equal chance to compete. Five $500 gift certificates to be given to the person who collects the most spiff dollars at each level. And again, if we have two people that are so close we can't really tell or if the records aren't that accurate, we'll have a 30-day playoff between the top two. Let me tell you a true story. Mark Duncan in our Davis Street store here told me that he had a customer come in and he said, Mr. Customer, let me show you this new shaving gel. It's a really good product. The customer said, forget it. I've been using the same product for 20 years. I don't want to hear about it. Mark said, try it. If you don't like it, I'll take the whole thing back for a refund, which is our normal policy. The customer took it, went back to Idaho. He called Mark up today and ordered five more of these bottles. And he did that because he said, this is terrific. And it is terrific. I might also mention, if you have a beard or a mustache, this is really good. Because since it is clear, you can really see where you're shaving. It's an excellent product. So let's get going with these two contests. $500 gift certificate, merchandise certificate to the Sharper Image, for the five people that sell the most key organizers or collect the most spiff dollars for the face maintenance system. These are great products. They're going to be good Christmas gifts. So let's sell them. All right? Thanks. Our second product in the spotlight this week is a look at the Sharper Image's full lineup of leather jackets. Here's Greg Chapman. We've spent a lot of time in the past videos, especially about the leather jackets and luggage, talking about the various qualities of leather, the various types of treatment that's applied to the leather merchandise that we carry. And what we'd like to do in this video is just reiterate some of the features and selling points of the Sharper Image leather jacket program for this fall. To start with, we have the Sharper Image Photography Leather Jacket. This jacket is made of grade A Napa cowhide. And again, Napa cowhide is a leather that's gone through a finishing process to make it extremely smooth, extremely soft, very supple. The Sharper Image Photography Jacket is basically a three season leather jacket at a very attractive price point of $199. Some of the predominant features are the zip off sleeves which will convert the jacket into a vest. Of course the famous Sharper Image Photography logo. Uh, a nylon lining on the inside which actually has a listing of all of the Sharper Image cities. And it also contains a very lightweight lining which adds a little bit of warmth without bulk. Next we have the Averex bomber style jacket. Again, the selling feature to this jacket is that it's, it's made up of four hand match, matched lambskin hides. These hides go through a chrome tanning process and a drum dyeing process to give the lambskin a very deep, rich color, but at the same time an antique look that the customer can actually control. Um, the more it's worn, the, the more antique finish or antique look it will take on. However, with a light treatment of mink oil, it will still retain some of a dressy quality to it. That jacket sells for $329. At $329, we also have from f Industri Industries the black lambskin dress jacket. This jacket is a little bit different from the Averex in that it's, it's a much classier, much dressier look. It's got a fuller cut around the shoulders and the armpits to allow a little more freedom of movement and more of a European look. It also is made of lambskin. It's a vat dyed black lambskin. And because it's not pressed like the Averex jacket, it still retains the very soft, supple quality. The FNL jacket also has a polyfill type lining on the inside, as well as a four inch high buckling collar that makes it a little bit warmer than the average leather jacket would be. So there again, it's an ideal jacket for the winter months because it adds 
more of a degree of warmth without any of the bulk of, say, a down jacket or a warm winter coat. So we have the Sharper Image Photography leather jacket at $199, the Averex Bomber style jacket, more of a casual leather jacket at $329, and from FNL Industries, the black lambskin dress leather jacket also at $329. And we close our tape this week with a look at a comparison of the Sharper Images data bank collection. Here's Don Rothenstein. Well, it's Christmas time again, and that means it's time for our second annual expose of the data bank world at the Sharper Image. This year, we'll, we will be carrying units from Sharp and Casio. As a matter of fact, four from each for a total of eight data banks. Let's take a look at the Casio pieces first. We have the entry-level CO820, which will sell for $49, and this is really a credit card size unit. Then we step to the CO450, which sells for $139, and this adds time and alarm. Then we go to the entry-level boss, the CO864, and that sells for $199. And then we have the top-of-the-line executive boss, the CO895, and that sells for $299. Now let's look at the vital statistics for these units. And what we'll do is just run down each of the columns. And you will get this chart in the mail or in PIP, so you don't have to worry about memorizing it at this point or taking any notes. As for memory, the, we start off with 8K on the CO820, and we move up to 64K on both of the boss units. For screen size, we start off with a two-line by eight-character display for the CO820 and move up to a six-line by 32-character on both BOSS units. As for expansion capability, uh, we have to go to the executive BOSS to find that in the Casio line. As for memory, we start off with 8K on the CO820, then we go to 32K, 64K, and then topping it off uh, with CO, on the CO895 at 128K because of its expansion capability. For the keypad, we have an alpha keypad on the entry level CO820. The other three units have your basic typewriter style QWERTY keybo keyboard. Uh, to get raised keys, we have to go to the executive boss. And for PC link uh, adaptability, once again, either boss unit can handle that. On the orientation of the numbers, we start off with the CO820, which has an embedded 10 key pad. And what we mean by that is that you have to access it through the shift function. The CO450 has a separate 10 digit keypad. And this is unique um, in the Casio line. It's the only one of the Casio pieces that has it. And as a matter of fact, there's only one other sharp that has it too. It is an, very useful for anyone who has to, has to enter a lot of numbers, such as accounting, finance, or engineering. On both boss units, the uh, basic entry-level boss and the executive boss, we have a linear uh, keypad. And you'll see that again here, with, this time with the raised keys on the executive boss. And that basically is the Casio segment of the data bank world. Now let's take a look at the four units from Sharp. And we think this is our strongest mix of data banks that we've ever had. We begin with the SH220. It's a 32K memory unit, and that sells for an amazing $99. Then we move to the SH520, which is a 64K unit, and that sells for $199. Then we go to the entry-level wizard, the SH695, and that sells for $299. And then we have the top of the line, king of them all, granddaddy, super wizard, the SH820, and that sells for $399. Now let's take a look at their vital statistics. As we mentioned in memory, we start with 32K for the SH220, then go to 64K on the next two units, and then 128K on the Super Wizard. And this is the highest uh, built-in memory of any data bank that we've ever had. As for screen size, we begin with a 4x12, then the next two units have our 8x12, and then on the Super Wizard, we have an incredible 8-line by 40-character display. 
As for expansion capability, both wizard units can do that. As a matter of fact, their maximum memory is 192K on the entry level wizard and a full 256K on the super wizard. Keypads are QWERTY on the first two units, alpha style on the entry level wizard, and then QWERTY once again on the super wizard. Now this entire data bank lineup from Sharp has raised keys. As for PC link capability, the upper three units can all be hooked up to PCs. As far as the number orientation, it's horizontal on the first two, the SH220 and 520. The entry level wizard has a separate 10 digit keypad. And as we talked about with the CO450, this is great whenever anyone has to enter a large amount of numerical data. And then we go back to horizontal uh, keypad on the Super Wizard. Speaking of the Super Wizard, many of you have asked when we will have a Lotus type spreadsheet available for the Super Wizard that takes advantage of the full screen size capability. All we can tell you at this point is that it's planned for early of 1991 and we'll get you, bring, keep you up to date as we get more information. The Super Wizard also has another unique feature to it. When you turn it on, an owner ID comes up on the screen and this has a name, a phone number, and address in case the unit is ever lost. In January of this, in January of this year, in the January book, uh, we will be adding in the, a new accessory and this is a carry case from Kingport and this will work for either wizard unit. You can put your wizard unit right here and then it has a section for credit cards and wizard cards plus, in, plus pockets for other information that you may be carrying with you. And that'll sell for $89. So that's our data bank lineup for this Christmas. We think once again it's going to be a very strong sales and profit generator.